according to a 2018 World Health Organization report. Breast cancer is the most common cancer among women, with approximately 2.1 million new cases each year. Johanna Wagner of the University of Zurich says it's a difficult disease to treat. Uh, cancer is composed of different components and um, our motivation, our aim was to characterize the comp these components in detail because we know that if we know exactly how uh, tumors are built, we might be able to better um, tailor therapies uh, in a tumor-specific way. The Swiss-based scientist used a process called single-cell mass cytometry to examine 26 million cancer cells from 140 patients. So what we get in the end is for each cell a spectrum of which proteins are present on this um, cell and how much. And we can compare this across these 26 million cells that we measured and this enables us to really get a very detailed idea of um, how cancer cells look, how they differ between patients, what's uh, the difference between cancer tissue and non-cancer tissue. To make sense of all the data generated by these 26 million cells, Wagner teamed up with computer scientists who used machine learning to decode what they describe as a breast cancer ecosystem. In a research published recently in the journal Cell, they found that aggressive tumors are often dominated by a single type of tumor cell, which often displays high levels of abnormality. Previously, more aggressive tumor cells were thought to be more diverse. This abnormality could be one reason why women respond differently to therapy and why some medications don't work. So these cells that are characterized by high abnormality are also characterized by high plasticity. And this is a characteristic that allows cells to better adapt to their environment and evade treatment. The researchers hope subsequent studies will lead to new proposed immunotherapy treatments and may lead to precision medicine approaches that target both the tumor and its immune environment. Nina Armilio, UNTV News and Rescue.